In the heart of Africa lies on Lake Kivu, a breathtaking nested between Rwanda and Democratic Republic of Congo. At natural disasters, Lake Kivu is known for potential methane eruption due to the high concentration of dissolved gases. Such as event could have catastrophic consequences for nearly communities which could be causing loss of lives and infrastructure damages. But for more information as my daily research on Lake Kivu now, I am going to tell the difference between Karongai, Rusizi and Rubavu, so also you will discover or explore some similarities among them, so let's start with similarities. In both districts there are fishing activities, water transport and tourism. The changes in the Lake Kivu's conditions or environmental degradation can lead to displacement, increasing poverty and conflicts owner, diminishing resources. The changes in the Lake Kivu's conditions or environmental degradation can lead to displacement, increasing poverty and conflicts owner, diminishing resources. For more information as my daily research on Lake Kivu now, I'm going to tell the difference between Karangai. Rusizi and Rubavu, so also you will discover or explore some similarities among them. So let's start with similarities. In both districts, there are fishing activities, water transport, and tourism. To let's turn to Rusizi. It is the district which specialized on the transport across the borders from Rusizi to Bukavu in Democratic Republic of Congo and in Burundi through Bagarama. So in Rusizi, we find their middle high land to Karongi. In Rusizi, there are big and large ships or boats for water transport through Lake Kiva. Rubavu is bordered to Bukavu in Democratic Republic of Congo. So, Rubavu is the home of sports and entertainment more than those districts, so Rubavu has lower highland to Rusizi. More relaxation of tourism in boats, few hotels like Tam Tam, which are fewer than Karongi, gas methane with Karongi and Rutsuro. But more multiculturalism and multiculture than any of those districts. More fishing productivities and talented district in both sports because they use profits from Lake Kivu as opportunities to them. Also, Rubavu has unique in sports because they receive and play beach volley. Swimming games which make them different. Pollution and poor water quality can lead to health issues among the people relying on the lake for drinking water and daily activities. Waterborne diseases and contamination can pose significant health risks. So why Karongi has the high land or hills and many hotels like Bitan, Riza Romatic, Delta, Microrak, Inn on Lake, Moria, Clio Golf and Homesite. Environmental changes in and around the lake might lead to a decline in the diversity of species, affecting both the ecosystem's resilience and the livelihoods of those dependent on the lake's resources. I drive boat here and I used to explain tourists what are done around here in Rubavu near Tamu Tamutel. The activities are done here not everywhere are sport like beach volley, culture exhibition, weaku music festival, boat entertainment, and swimming games. Beach volley because here in Rubavu there is public beach or sand.
About the talents here in Rubavu, we are the district in Rwanda in swimming games because some players attend international competitions also. They win for awards and in beach volleyball, and we are the source of talents in football because we are known as Brazilian in Rubavu. Yes, it can, because water was like in six meters there in 2018, but now there are changes because over raising of water to communities. I don't remember well if I have showed you one of the hotel called Little Paris over raised up by water and storm in July 2023, so that pub destroyed. It's never worked anyway until now. To, for me, what can be done? They can build walls with concretes which would be protection from over-raising up and, and planting trees which reduce destruction of storm.